Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Jenna. I also just wanted to apologize if you can hear someone mowing their lawn. It's a very nice day out today, so we're just gonna deal with it. <laughs> I just wanted to say thank you so much for all of the love and the support. It really means so, so much to me and it just makes me very happy that some people are enjoying my videos and liking, commenting, and subscribing. So if you want, I post every single Tuesdays and I would love it if you liked and subscribed down below if you want. So today's video is going to be my daily essentials and without further ado, let's get started. So these are the things that are always in my bag that I ca probably cannot live without and Yeah, let's get started. So we're gonna start with Louis Vuitton this piece I would not live without and I'm just gonna say it right now if I were to pick one thing that got lost I would definitely repurchase this one and yeah, let's Let's be real here it is the Louis Vuitton mini pochette. I absolutely love this one. This is in the Damien Ben print and it just looks like so. I've had this since 2017 and I have been using it basically every single day. Everything in here I need in my bag. I just did a like two and a half year review on this. If you want to check it out, I'll leave it down below or in a card but that video takes you more into like in-depth kind of review and what is in here and you'll see how much I actually carry in here but this one is definitely my number one pick I love it so much <laughs> The next two items that are inside the mini pochette are these two. I will not leave the house without one of these two. So this is the L'Occitane hand cream and this is just the original one with the 20% shea butter. I love it so, so much. This is one of the ones that I've tried and just kept on repurchasing. They have so many different uh, scents and I just don't like those ones as much as these ones. So this one is so, so good for my dry hands. And then this is also by L'Occitane. This is 100% natural shea butter. Now, originally I bought the small size. If you've seen my videos before, you'll know that I always purchase the smaller size is first just to try it out. And usually I just, even if I do like it, I would repurchase smaller sizes I don't know but this is one of the items that I was skeptical about at the beginning when I first got introduced to it so this you can use as a cuticle oil or put it around your lips anywhere that's dry you can put on so I finished this a while ago and then I bought the bigger size so then I just transfer it every single time from here to the smaller ones I also have them all around my house my my room my car everywhere so I have one on my desk I have one in my vanity I have one in my car and I have one in my mini pochette so many places and I just take these little like sample tubes things and I just transfer it in here no problem and I absolutely love it it hydrates my lips so much so this is my favorite lip balm ever and like I wouldn't be able to live without it all right next up is a wallet obviously the wallets change because sometimes I like to change my wallets, right? So this is the wallet of choice. Now, I usually carry this because I have bills and I don't have to fold them more than once. And it also has a separate compartment for coins. Now, I don't use bills or coins as often. I just like to carry them, but I don't really use it. I just use my card. But it's nice to have a separate compartment for coins and like bills and stuff. Now this is the Louis Vuitton key pouch or clay. I just use this as a wallet and I absolutely love it. Just because it is very very spacious 
and like I said, separate compartment for coins. Sometimes I do find myself using coins and bills, so it is a great um, option to have. And of course, I have different options for wallets. <laughs> I couldn't find the word. And these are the wallets that I switched to. This is the Louis Vuitton clay and this is the Chanel card holder. I love these ones as well. Like I wouldn't be able to live without them. But if I were to just pick one wallet, I would probably just stick with this one because it is more like of a compact wallet. These ones I think of card cases. You know? So the next item is this guy. This is a little pouch from Ipsy and inside here are the things that I really can't live without and they are Ricola. Now I use my voice every single day for work because I teach music at a Montessori school and so Ricola is our best friend at work. <laughs> uh, we literally have a big bag of Ricola at work and it's amazing. Love it. They all work the same. I love them. Ricola, Halls, any of them work fine. So they're always in this little baggie just so I know it's safe and I cannot live without it. The next items are in this little bag. This is a David's tea bag. So cute, look at it. So inside of here are my electronics. And these are just the Apple headphones. I need these because you gotta listen to some music if I'm on my break. And then I also have this little pouch and inside here has bobby pins and a little clip and a hair tie. And then I have some AirPods in here and it has the little cute pink case on it. These are the first generation ones, I don't know, got them a while ago. And then this little adapter thing so that I can listen to it on my phone as well with these headphones. Now you'd, you're probably wondering, why do I have two? <laughs> Just in case these, you know, they fail me, they run out of batteries, I'm too lazy to charge it, I forget to charge it. I have these as a backup and also when I'm editing, these don't have lag and these have a lag. So I like to keep these ones on hand just in case. So the next item is this guy. This is a little leather pouch that I got in I think in Quebec City when I went to visit one year, I don't remember. But inside of here has tampons and also liners and I keep them just in case. Even if I don't have my period, I will have it in my bag because you never know what might happen or if someone else needs it as well. So it's really good to have it just in case. And then the last item that's always, always in my handbag is actually this little pouch. Not little, but a pouch. <laughs> More pouches. As you can see, I love pouches. So this is a Michael Kors Cosmetics pouch, I think. And I've had this for so, so long. And it just looks like this. I actually put everything I just showed you in here. So this is how I keep my items kind of neat and tidy in my bag so they're not just like rolling around in my tote bag. Because I just bring a tote bag to work, I don't really bring like my handbags or anything. So I always have it in here. So let me show you how that looks like. So I have the mini pochette. This is always at the back here. And then I have my wallet and then the tampons in here. So that all fits in here. I don't close it up or anything. I don't even close the mini pochette up. So it just looks like so. And then I have the rest of these little pouches inside of my bags. Just because these can be like thrown around and they're like a canvas material so I don't want these to kind of like tip over anything 
And that, my friends, are my handbag essentials. Hopefully you found this helpful or interesting. And I would love to know what your handbag essentials are. If you have, leave them down below or message me on Instagram. I love talking to you guys. And yeah, I hope you have a great day. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye!